Hello and welcome to this introduction to QGIS, which is part of the DHIS2 GIS Academy. In this first video, I will show you how to download gridded population data from the WorldPOP Research Group website for use within QGIS. Firstly, we need to open a web browser and access the internet. Secondly, we need to navigate to www.worldpop.org by either typing this in the address bar or searching for it within your uh, preferred search engine. Once you have done this, you will come to the home screen of the WorldPOP Research Group's website. On the home screen, you will need to go to the menu bar in the top right of the website. Hover over data and in the drop down menu that appears, scroll down to population counts and click the link. This loads the website that contains all of the relevant uh, data products that WorldPOP produces on population. In our case, we're interested in downloading the Constrained Individual Countries 2020 UN Adjusted uh, Datasets at 100 meter resolution. If we click this link, all of the datasets for each country are listed alphabetically in a table. Download the data for your country. If it's easier, search for your country in the search bar and then click on data and resources. In my case, I'm interested in downloading the data for Sierra Leone. So I've searched for Sierra Leone and I'll now press the data and resources button, which will take me to the Sierra Leone Population 2020 website. This has all of the information on the methods and metadata for the data, as well as the appropriate citations and links to the DOI. However, in our case, we want to download the data set. So to do this, press the big green button here, which says download entire data set. As you can see, this has downloaded a copy of the Sierra Leone Population 2020 UN Adjusted Constrained Dataset. It is recommended that you now save this in an appropriate folder for use within the training videos. For the upcoming exercises, I'm going to move this data into a DHIS2 underscore training folder that I created earlier. And there we have it. The population dataset has now been downloaded for use in the videos.